In this video, I'm going to go over first transition analysis, also known as first step analysis. So what is the goal of first transition analysis? Our goal is to find the expected number of states that it takes to get from state i to state j. We will represent this as mij. So mij is the expected number of states that it uh, takes to get from state i to state j. Um, you could also word this as the expected amount of time, tj, is the time that it takes to get to state j, given that x0 is equal to i. And then we also have uh, something that we'll be using that you already know, uh, pij is equal to the probability of getting from state i to state j in one step. So, let's drive this formula. Um, the formula for mij, which is our first transition analysis. Um, so, Using this for, with this formula, we're going to use the law of total expectation, and we're going to use it across all possible x1 given x0. What is x0? Well, we already know x0 is equal to i, but x1 could be any other state that i goes to. So uh, we already have that mij is equal to the expected amount of time uh, that it takes to get to j given that x0 is equal to i. But now, we can expand this using the law of total expectation across all possible x1 values. And that looks like this. So this is the expected amount of time that it takes uh, to get to state j, given that x0 equals i, x1 equals k, and uh, times the probability that x1 equals uh, k, given that x0 equals i. And we can condense that to, look, that to look like this. Then, the next thing we're going to do is a little bit tricky. So we know that you can pull out, uh, well, let's say, let's say x1 is equal to j. We know that if x1 is equal to j, the expected time is going to be equal to 1, because we already have that x0 is equal to uh, i, and x1 is equal to j, and that just took one step to get to state j. So that's 1 times pij. We can pull that out. And then, uh, we can add that to the summation of all k's that are not equal to j, uh, 1 plus the expected value of the time it takes to get to j, uh, given x0 is equal to i and x1 is equal to k, times the probability of going to i uh, from i to k. We, we have this 1 right here because we know that we're not, the next step, the first step is not going to be equal to j. Um, and it's going to take more than one step. So we're adding about on the time that it takes after the first step. So basically, this uh, simplifies down to look like this. And then uh, that just looks like this. And we've solved mij is equal to 1 plus the summation of all k not equal to j uh, of the probability of going from state i to state k times in, in one step times the probability, or not, not times the probability. Okay, I'm going to restart this. Uh, mij is equal to 1 plus the summation of all k not equal to j um, for the probability of going from state i to state k in one step times the expected amount of time it'll take uh, to go from state k to state j. So that sounds a little bit complicated, but once I show you this in a problem, it's not going to be that hard. So let's look at a practice problem. I've given this very simple transition matrix that is symmetric and um, not complicated. And you can look at it in graph form right here. We want to find what is m12. Uh, so that is the expected amount of time it takes to get from state 1 to state 2, or the expected amount of time uh, to get to state 2 uh, given you start at state 1. So how can we use this formula up here to find this value? Well, all we have to do is form a system of equations, and we should be able to get the answer pretty easily. So let's look. We know that m22 is equal to 0, because the amount of time it takes to get from state 2 to state 2 is 0, because you're already there. And then we know that the uh, amount of time, expected amount of time, it takes to get from state 1 
the state 2 is 1 plus 1 half times m22 plus 1 half, which is the probability of going from state 1 to state 3 times the expected amount of time uh, that it will take to get from state 3 to state 2. This simplifies to 1 plus 1 half m32. That is 1 plus 1 half, uh, or 1 plus the probability of going from state 1 to state 3 uh, uh, times the expected amount of time it will take to go from state 3 to state 2. So that all makes sense logically. Um, but we can't solve this without figuring out what m32 is. So let's figure out what m32 is. m32 is equal to 1 plus 1 half, uh, which is the probability of going from state m3 to state m2, uh, times m22, which we know is 0, so we'll simplify that. Um, and then we'll get our 1 half right here, because we can go from state 3 to state 1, Times the problem, or it's times the expected amount of time it takes to go from state one to state two. So that simplifies to this because m two two is equal to zero, and that um, is equal to we can simplify it to this by subbing in m one two, and we can solve that m three two is equal to two. Therefore, we can solve back and use the system equa of equations to find m12 is equal to 1 plus 1 half m32, and that is equal to two steps. So we've solved this, and the uh, expected amount of time that it'll take to get from state 1 to state 2 is two steps.